Hello, I'm Natalie. And I'm Sophie. Did you know that English is a stress-timed language? Oh, stress-timed as opposed to what? As opposed to syllable-timed. Oh, so what's a stress-timed language? In a stress-timed language, the stressed syllables in the sentences are said at approximately regular intervals. Mm. And the words in between that are not stressed will be shorter and be squeezed in between these regular intervals. Oh, so what about a syllable-timed language? A syllable-timed language sounds much more regular because all the syllables will be of approximately equal length, more like So what are other examples, apart from English, what are other examples of stress-timed languages? English, German, Danish, Dutch, Russian, mm. Swedish, I think. Yes. And what about uh, syllable? Uh, no, uh, syllable. Syllable time, time language. language. What are other examples of syllable timed languages? Um, Italian, French, Spanish, Cantonese. Mm, are okay. Examples. So if we were to come up with a pattern of sorts, you could say that a stress timed language might sound a little bit more like dun. Yes, exactly. Whereas a syllable timed language language would be much more regular. So yes, a little bit more like that. Because there's less of a difference in length between syllables. Okay. Right. So if we want to come up with an example, let's come up with a very simple sentence to begin with. It's cold out there. There's COVID. Don't get sick. So we've got three words, three syllables. Mm -hmm. I don't get sick. You don't really get sick? I don't really get that sick. I don't really ever get that sick. How did she do that? We started off with three words, three syllables, and we came up with a sentence which had nine syllables, but which took exactly the same amount of time, just those three beats. I don't really ever get that sick. Mm -hmm. I don't really ever get that sick. That's nine syllables. Mm -hmm. But we still kept stressing those same three syllables. Don't mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. sick. So, I don't really ever get that sick. So if we'd said this a similar sentence in a syllable-timed language, it would have taken up a lot more space, a lot more time, because each syllable would have lasted as long. We wouldn't have squeezed all those little words around the three main beats. Mm. So there you have it, stress-timed languages and syllable-timed languages. Accentology.